Hello everybody and welcome to day 13 of my beginner sewing course. I hope you are well and today we're going to be learning how to gather fabric. So have you ever seen a dress where uh, the skirt part is gathered so like there's pleats but not really pleats. They look like pleats but they're not pleats. That's what a gather is. So there are two techniques on how to gather fabric. Both uh, require your sewing machine but with the first one you actually do the gather by hand. In the second one you use a gathering foot to do the gathers. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to do the first method today because it's, I find, the best one because you can actually choose how much gather you actually want. I find that if you use a gathering foot, your gathers might be less coherent. So that's why I like to be the boss of the gathers and do it myself. So let's get into it. So you're going to start with a rectangle of fabric. Um, make it long enough that you can actually um, have space to gather the fabric. Now you're going to select the straight stitch and just switch out the stitch length to the highest stitch length possible, minus five. Yours might be four. It just depends on your sewing machine. So I'm just gonna put it at five. Okay, so you wanna leave a like really long um, tail on both, both of those. So the top thread and the bottom thread. Just get it out of the way. Now you're gonna take your fabric lower down your presser foot and start sewing in a straight line. Don't back tack here, okay? Just keep, keep sewing. Okay, and once you get here, you don't wanna trim the thread. You wanna put your needle up and then once again, leave a long thread, uh, leave a long tail. <laughs> so once again, you want a long tail. So just grab both your threads and pull them out. Now you're going to grab your fabric again, get the tails out of the way. And you're going to want to make another stitch right next to that line. And once again, you don't want to back tack at the beginning or the end of the seam. And this is what it should look like with the tails here and the tails there. So here you have your fabric, and as you can see, we have the tails hanging. So there are two top threads here, and then two bottom threads there, and it's the same thing here. So how to gather fabric. You're going to hold on to the two top threads. So have, that, uh, have those two threads in your right hand, and then in your left hand have your fabric. And all you're going to do is just pull on them like that and then make those gathers go to the left and just repeat pull And this is what I mean when I say that you can really choose exactly how much gather you want because you're doing it by hand. It's not your machine doing it itself. Here, as you can see, it's very, very gathered. Let's try to put it in the middle. That's a good amount of gather. Let's do it from the other side as well. So once again, you just take your top threads, which are this one and this one. And those are the two that you pull on. Don't pull on the bottom threads, bottom threads. Oops. I grabbed the bottom thread there and that's why it didn't work. Okay, there we go. Now 
So let's make it a little more even. That looks pretty gathered and even to me. So to finish the seam, what you're gonna do is tie a knot at the end. So let me show you how it's done here. So take the top threads and just tie a, um, a shoelace knot. like that and do it again. You can do it even uh, three times to make sure uh, it is really secure, but I'm not gonna do that here because I'm just showing you. And then you can trim off the excess thread. And then you wanna do the same on the bottom threads here. And this is how you gather fabric. Um, let's say this is a skirt piece. Uh, you would probably want to attach it to a top piece to make a dress. So you could just sew that right sides together with the other fabric and just sew along that line. So there you go. Gathering fabric really is that simple. All you have to remember is to make long, long uh, stitches. So like with a really long stitch length and to leave a tail on both ends. And after you gather, just tie a knot on both ends and that's it. So yeah, your homework is just to practice your gathers and I will see you in day 14.